हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एस्ट्रिक सॉल्यूशन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग द मेथड्स ऑफ स्ट्रेंग सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आई एम गोइंग टू डू लेट्स से द टुडे इज डेट व्हेन आई एम शूटिंग दिस वीडियो इज फिफ्टीन डिसम्बर टू नाउ वेन यू पुट अप फिफ्टीन डिसम्बर टू हाउ डज इट लुक लाइक यू राइट फिफ्टीन डैश ट्वेल्व डैश और यू माइट राइट फिफ्टीन डैश डी सी डैश और यू माइट राइट फिफ्टीन डैश डिसम्बर डैश टू थाउजेंड एटीन नाउ वॉट इन माई प्रोटोटाइप वॉट आई हैव डन इज दैट डैश इन द बिटवीन और द हाइफन साइन इट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सो वेन इट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट आई गेट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ब्रेक इट सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ टू डिफरेंट मेथड हियर फर्स्ट आई नीड टू नो वेयर दैट हाइफन साइंस आर सेकेंड आई विल यूज द मेथड सबस्ट्रेंग इंडेक्स ऑफ टू ब्रेक इट सबस्ट्रेंग टू टेक आउट द पर्टिक्युलर वैल्यूज नाउ इफ यू सी द स्ट्रक्चर द फर्स्ट थिंग यूल फाइंड इज फर्स्ट टू कैरेक्टर्स आर डेट द कैरेक्टर्स बिटवीन द अदर टू हाइफन्स आर योर मंथ एंड द कैरेक्टर्स आफ्टर योर लास्ट हाइफन आर बेसिकली योर इयर सो देर आर बेसिकली टू वेज टू ब्रेक दिस either i can go by the hard earned way of writing the methods and calling them by myself or i can use the split method for array i am going to show you both the ways so if we go by the very first way what we are going to do so let's begin so i am going to actually use both the ways and i'll show it to you one by one what i am exactly going to do so let's say i start off with and i write a simple class date split 1 and in the first method i am going to show you how you can do that using substring and index of method so let's say my string date is equal to 15 hyphen 12 hyphen 2018 now there are basically two simple ways i can just split it using the substring and give the hard coded values but the moment my input changes this will actually change the scenario here now for example the date today was not 15th or it was 5th and instead of writing 05 you just write 5 so in that scenario you will break the pattern in which my code was written hence you are again in a big mess it will basically stop the way it the program was actually working so the better way would be find the index signs for that hyphen or index number for that hyphen dynamically so that every time i try to write that i get my code proper yeah so let's say int position 1 is equal to date dot index of double quotes so if this is my string now here 15 hyphen 12 hyphen 2018 so 0 12 you can see at the second location as per zero index i have my hyphen sign so just to give you a simple scenario here what i'm doing i'm just printing it out and first index colon position 1 so it will give me the first position where my first index is just try to run this yeah so it says first index is at 2 now i need to find out the location of my second hyphen sign to find out the location of my second hyphen sign i need to use an overloaded method an overloaded method of index of which says that if you already have a character occurring first in your string and if you find out if it is occurring again pass the value as first index plus 1 so see how this work int position 2 is equal to date dot index of double quotes dash comma position 1 plus 1 so this gives them that try to find the hyphen sign after the first position in this situation it is 2 it might be something else in the other situation but it is getting loaded dynamically so now let's say system dot out dot print ln second index colon plus position 2 second index colon position 2 and now let's try this so if i say run as and you can see second index now as per my string 15 hyphen 12 hyphen now you can see 01 is 15 hyphen is at 2 then you have got 1 and 2 at 3 and 4 and you have got the second hyphen at fifth now as i have got both the strings i can just start substringing it so if i take the value from 0 to position 1 now now if i put up the same string in 0 and 1 pattern because substring uses that you have to take the first location from the 0th index whereas the second location from second index so it says you have to start like if you want to want the date part you have to say 
and you have to say and the other part in one index which is 2 but if you can see one index of your 5 is actually the 0 index of your hyphen sign so in short string d is equal to date dot substring and my begin index is 0 and end index is position 1 so it gives me date then I have got to find out month I'll do what position 1 plus 1 because I need the 0 index from there till position 2 so it says date dot substring position 1 plus 1 comma position 2 so it gives me the second index and now lastly I need just here so I need to just pass it from position 2 plus 1 which is the point where my 2018's 2 start so it says y is equal to date dot substring position 2 plus 1 and now I just need to print it to show you that date day colon plus d then you have got month colon plus m and you have got year colon plus y and if you just print this now and try to run this code you will see how this shaped up so you can see day is 15th month is 12 and year is 2018 so this is how using the combination of index of and substring I broke the whole string into the way I wanted now there is one more easier way obviously this way you don't have to use it every time but you might need it sometime there is one more way of breaking this if you are aware of how arrays work this will be like a cakewalk see I'll do it in the same string what I'll do is there is a method by name split if you want to want a description on split you can just watch the videos for my string methods which is in the description box and you'll understand how substring how index of and how uh, your split method works so now let's say I have string and I make an array x is equal to date dot split is equal to date dot split and the regex sign which is the breaking sign is my hyphen so how exactly split work here if my date is 15 hyphen 12 hyphen 2018 based on that hyphen sign it will make an array and it will put each value before and after hyphen inside a array index so what will happen now after split inside my x of 0 there will be 15 inside my x of 1 there will be 12 and inside my x of 2 it will be 2018 so if I just copy paste this three lines from here and I put it there and instead of writing x of d I'll just say x of 0 here here I'll say x of 1 and here I'll say x of 2 I save it and now I try to run this so run as Java application oh, ok so what I'll do split using array so I'm splitting it using array and I run this as Java application so you can see when I did it the same part it was like a very simple way so I have explored both the ways for you guys you can start writing this program I will put the program link to download this program in the description box you can just download it and start working on it thank you do subscribe to my channel